Hey guys, so really quickly before we jump into anything, I just want to take a moment to um, make a, a statement about like some conscious awareness um, just about the world around us because that's something that's very important to Nikki and I to really look at like the issues that are going on in the world and the community and to do our part to hopefully try and at least raise awareness and maybe potentially raise some, um, some funds for it as well. So I'm sure as many of you know, um, Australia is suffering with just devastating wildfires, like unimaginable wildfires. And um, a lot of their wildlife is dying because of it. Um, obviously the the citizens and the people who live there, they're also suffering, but the wildlife itself is, um, it's very rich in Australia and we are losing rapidly a lot of um, very uh, important species to us. Um, koala bears may be on the uh, the endangered species list after this. So that being said, there's a lot of people out there who are risking their lives and their safety and um, they're taking incredible steps and um, attempts to to control these fires, to contain those fires and to make them um, manageable is because right now they're not. So that being said, uh, Nikki has done a lot of research and he's found an organization that directly donates to the firefighters and 100% of the proceeds goes directly to them to help them fight the fires and to help them save whatever wildlife they can and preserve the um, the environment there as much as they can. If you would like to donate, do not feel pressured to at all. It's just something that we wanted to give you guys the option to since he has done the research and found an organization that is going to be giving the proceeds to the right place. Because I know with charities, sometimes you may donate and you're not really, you're not really sure where your money is going. So if you want to to donate then we really appreciate it it is um, going to be linked into the bottom of the channel and uh, yeah other than that stay tuned for content hey guys welcome back to dark angel beauty thank you so much for tuning in today if you are joining us we are in part two of our uh, sixth video filming session of the day it is january 15th and this is the first time we filmed since way before christmas so i deeply apologize for that um we have posted a little bit and been using like stock backup because we had a good amount like saved up but it's just been an absolute crazy time since christmas has ended we've decided to buy a house so it's just been it's just been wild i did just remember that we forgot to announce the giveaway winner uh, which we promised we would do midway through January. Thank you so much for everybody who found us because of the giveaway and entered because of the giveaway. And mainly just thank you to all of our wonderful supportive fans. I literally cannot thank you enough. Like I've gotten messages and stuff from people who are like, hey, we, I really love your content and I, I just really enjoy it. And it, it means a lot to me. And, and that to me is like, everything we're working towards like i just want you guys to feel like we're creating content that you relate to and that you appreciate and and you want to see more of and that's i mean that to me is, is the biggest gift of all so thank you guys so much for that um if you're new here i would really really recommend subscribing because we are a very fun loving uh community in the, the youtube area the area the era that no no area god can i speak can i can i function I cannot. The answer is no, I cannot. So yeah. Um, yeah. Other than that, before we jump into today's video, just a quick point out, I, if you have seen um, the boxy charm video, I don't know how these are gonna post, but if you've seen that one already, then you have heard me talk about this lovely hat that I am currently wearing, which is from Fur Talk. They are an amazing hat company. They're a newer, relatively small company, but they are very, very great with customer service and their quality products. I love the hat. This is their new fedora. Um, I believe they're doing a sun hat in the summertime. And then they also have a really cute beanie that I also received to show you guys. Um, they've just been an amazing, company to collaborate with and to to talk to just very you know compassionate and very like personal in so many ways and so I would highly recommend checking out their products they are sold on Amazon it is f-u-r-t-a-l-k all one word um, they are on Instagram so you can check out their page on Instagram um, I believe they also have their own individual website where you can go purchase things but definitely Amazon is a place that you can purchase their hats um, when I was working with the company, as soon as pretty much we picked out the hat that we wanted, like the hat showed up like two days later. So they were just amazing with everything. Um, and if you want to pick up a little bit of a discount on these hats, that is going to be DA Beauty. It is capital D, capital A, lowercase beauty. And you can use that to get 15% off your lovely uh, little hat. And then we can be twinsies twinsies um and i'm sure nikki will link that in the bio because he's very good about doing that and uh yeah that's not my forte so that's his avenue 
Yeah. Without any further ado, we are going to jump into today's video, which is the Ipsy versus Ipsy for January. Now, if y'all don't know about Ipsy versus Ipsy, it is where I take my mother's Ipsy and I take my own Ipsy and then I compare the two. I figure out who had the best products for the month. I figure out like which bag I like better as a collective. And then I also create my ideal five piece bag based on what the 10 products we received were. I always start off with my mother's bag. That is this one right here. So we're gonna jump into it. I don't know anything about what I got or what she got. So that, uh, that always makes it a little bit fun too, but <gasps> oh, the bag is precious. Look at that. That's so cute. It looks like the granite countertops we were looking at yesterday. Oh my God, yeah, we are, we are fully immersed in the house buying process. So just bear with us on that because it's just, it's just a lot. So it's all we're thinking about right now, but yeah. All right, I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna do something different. I'm just gonna pull out all her little items. I'm jealous as hell of her bag right now if I'm being 100% honest. I pulled out all her items and now I'm regretting that because she got some cool crap and now I'm just like, wow, I hope my mind's that good, but. All right, the first thing we're going in with is this Clean It Zero Cleansing Balm. I have never heard of the brand before, but it's a really cute like little pink package. It has zero scent to it. I actually don't know if it's a, okay, so it's a makeup remover. I actually was, the way, the texture of it, if, if you guys can see, it's kind of like, it almost looks like a lip gloss. Like it's very like, like it doesn't jiggle. It's just like a, like a little waxy balm type thing. And so with that, I was thinking it actually might be a brush cleanser, but it is a face cleanser. It's for a normal skin type. So it's an all-in-one sherbet type cleanser that softly melts onto skin to remove makeup and exfoliate and hydrate in one simple step. So it actually seems like a cool little balm. Um, we're getting ready to go to Disney again in February. That was one of my big Christmas gifts from Nikki. And so um, that would be a nice little thing to have in my travel bag actually just created a new travel bag. So that's a whole thing we could do a video on if we wanted to, but you guys have already seen it once. So I don't, I don't know. Maybe you want to see that. Maybe you don't. If you want to see it, then leave it in the, the comments, please do. Um, but yeah, that would be a nice little asset to it. I don't know if my mom would like it. If I'm being hundred percent honest, this is not really like her thing that she would want, but maybe she might like it. So I don't really know. Moving right along. Uh, the next thing she got is this Jules Smith Beauty think it's a lip gloss. It looks like a lip gloss. If it is not a lip gloss, just based on the color, it's gotta be one of the glitter eyeshadows, which if it is, then that's a really good product. Cause that's currently what I'm wearing. I'm wearing my Ciate London one that I got on my, um, in one of my boxy charms like a while ago. Love them. I have a whole bunch from Stila. I have a whole, I have the Ciate London one. I have a whole bunch from a couple other brands. So I just, I really like these shimmer liquid liners. So, but I'm thinking based on this, this is more of just an iridescent top coat lip gloss. Meh. If it's a lip gloss, meh. If it's an eyeshadow, awesome. That's kind of how I feel about it. Sorry, that's a weird way to put it, but yeah. All right. She got a lot of really good like makeup products this month, it seems like. So that's kind of a big deal in my opinion. I don't know. I feel like a lot of times they'll send you like a whole bunch of cleansers, but she's got like one cleanser, one skincare thing, and then she's got like everything else is makeup. So, so this is an eyeshadow from Real Her. I, th I think that's what it's called, Real Her. It's in the shade Incomparable. And it is just a very nice neutral, like what I would call kind of like a blending crease shade. So if you have like a dark color in your crease and you want to blend it out into your, um, up to your eye bone, this would be a really nice option for it. It is very much my mother's color scheme, like a light brown, very, very much her, um, her kind of her her kind of aesthetic and her uh, go-to shades. Oh, I didn't even mention, but this month is the clean slate, which I love. It just just precious. It's slate like slate. That's so cute. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love that. All right. The next thing she got, I believe this is what she picked for her option because we talked about it, and I almost got this, but then I didn't get it, and then I was kind of sad I didn't get it, and I don't even remember what what I got. Like if I'm being honest, I can't open it. I I can't open this baby. <laughs> Nikki, help. All right, well, Nikki's trying to open that for me. I'm gonna move on to the other product. So this is from Pure Cosmetics. I love Pure Cosmetics. Pure Cosmetics and Smashbox Cosmetics, thank you, are two of the most underrated cosmetic brands. I stand by that. I've said it before and I 100% I stand by it. Every product I use from them is just absolutely incredible, so. But this from Pure is a four-in-one pressed mineral makeup. It is, um, got SPF 15 in it. So this is basically going to be like either a powder foundation or like a top coat foundation is what I would call it. And um, it's in the shade light. It's, I think it's a good color for my mom. I would love to receive one personally. So I think that's also a great asset. Honestly, I love her bag. I don't know what my bag is gonna look like, but if it doesn't look like this one, it's probably gonna lose, just be honest. 
Um, and then this is the, so from Ciate London, love Ciate London as well. Like I said, this shimmer shade is Ciate London on my eyeballs. This is one of their baked blushes. It is like a marble shimmer iridescent blush. I actually opted not to choose this one because I received a full size one in my boxy Lux for the month of December. I love it. I use it almost every day. Um, it's an incredible blush. I can never say, for some reason, I can never say brush and blush. It is an incredible blush. However, I didn't know which shade I got and I was too lazy to go check. So I opted to not, they had three different ones they were offering and I opted to not get that. All right, so love my mom's bag. My mom's bag is absolutely fantastic. Um, I will say that I pu pulled out my bag and I know I complained about never getting brushes, but I got a brush, but I hate fan brushes. I just don't like fan brushes. I try, I try guys. If you have suggestions on how to use them properly, then please let me know because most likely it's Luxie. I love Luxie brushes, but I hate fan brushes enough to say this is probably going to a giveaway. So that's the first thing I got. So disappointment right there. Already one knockoff from my bag. That's how I feel about that. Anyway, I still love the bag. Bag's just adorable. Just, just precious. Just absolutely great. So, all right, gonna do all the same thing. Gonna pull out all my things and then we're gonna figure out what I got and uh, if I hate it or not. Well, my bag lost. I can already tell you my bag lost. So not this month for me. Okay, so we'll start with the thing that I chose. It is actually a very nice size, a very generous size Morphe concealer. The shade looks very light to me. So that may, oh, ho, ho, I done messed up. I done messed up, Nikki. That's translucent. That's, that's beyond white. That is, that is. I'm very white and this is whiter than I am. So, oops. I think there was only like one or two shade options and that's why I chose this one, but it was the wrong choice apparently, so. The thing about concealers is I can work with them. I am very good about kind of mixing different shades. I can take darker shades and lighter shades and normally make them work for me. So we'll have to do that with this one, but it is a full size. Like, don't get me wrong. It's a great size. It's just the wrong shade for me. And if I had realized that I probably would not have chosen it. My dad asked if we didn't. They're trying to get my dad's blood. He asked if we wanted to not put one of the new phones in the, the filming area. And I was like, it should be fine. Okay, all right, sorry about that guys. Yep, yep, just the fun process of, of filming, so. All right, so Luxie brush, most likely going to a giveaway. We got the two light concealer. I have a Pure Lissy Blue Lotus 4-in-1 Cleansing Milk, so more cleansers. I got like three in my boxy charm. if you didn't get that reference. Um, I actually really like Pure Lissy though. So I, um, I'm i okay with this one, especially since the size and um, I like, I like milk-based cleansers. They really help my skin. So I'm not gonna, I'm actually not going to complain about this one because it's going to be a nice asset for the travel. I also got a Too Faced Hangover primer. Uh, it's a face primer. It is like the smallest sample though. These are literally like the sample sizes that you get in like big kits and stuff from Ulta is all I can think about. Like the really tiny ones. Like for me, I get it that I got a full size concealer. I've gotten a nice brush, whatever. I feel like this is very tiny for a, a sample size in my opinion. Uh, it's, I know it's in a box. You guys can't really appreciate it. So I'll pull it out so you guys can hear why my complaints are what they are. That's a face primer. That's very tiny. That's like the size of what a normal eyeshadow primer tube is. Now, if it was an eyeshadow primer, I could justify it because that's almost full size in the eyeshadow primer community. That'll last you for a long ass time. This is not that, this is a face primer. So I just think that that's a very um, tiny, tiny little, whatever. And then I also got a, another black mascara. So basic. Okay wand, not like a great wand, just kind of a standard wand does kind of look like it's got some separation, but could still build a little bit of um, fullness. So it might be great. It is called The Lash Next Door and it is from Brooklyn and Bailey. That is what it looks like. Well, overall, I think we all know that my mother's bag won for my response. Um, if I had to pick all of the items, I would pick every item in my mother's bag. I don't think I would choose anything. The only thing I might choose would be the Morphe concealer because it's a great size and I would trade that out for the cleansing balm. But like the Morphe concealer is very light. It is going to be a struggle and a half for me to work with that thing. So um, yeah, I very much lost an Ipsy this month. 
but I like the bag, so it's worth the 10, 12 bucks, whatever it is, so. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, it's just a weird time. It's just a weird day for us, and I'm sorry for that. And if you haven't seen some of our other content, maybe you should go look at that, because we're not always this weird, but we're very weird, so. You kind of are seeing what you're gonna get here. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the page, please do so. It really means the world to us. And so I don't forget again, I would like to say we did randomly choose our winner for the 100 video Christmas giveaway. Um, if you haven't seen that video, then I'm sure Nikki can link it there so that you guys can go at least see that and figure out what we are talking about with it. But our winner for that is Sierra. She actually commented twice on the video and then she like liked almost all of our Instagram posts. So I was kind of like, oh, what, what a convenient thing. I think it was probably because she got like 12 entries for that, but it's fine. So thank you so much, Sierra. We really appreciate it. And uh, we will be getting you your goodies as soon as we possibly can. Um, I will reach out to you on Instagram and uh, we'll get all your information that way. Awesome. But other than that, uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you all for your support and your love. Um, we are going to do as many giveaways as we possibly can. We have a big pile of stuff saved up. My mother has actually donated a whole bunch of like really cool jewelry, like what I'm wearing right now to add to giveaways as well well. So that will be starting to get featured into the giveaways as well. I will say we're going to be kind of like halting on the whole buying thing. Our hauls are going to cease. Um, we'll still be getting the boxy charms and the ifsies, but with the buying the house process, obviously there's a lot of stuff that's going to be going into that. Most of my savings is going into that. And so, um, yeah, so we are doing our best to kind of like halt the unnecessary spending, which unfortunately, as much as we love makeup and as much as I love doing the videos for you guys, that will be part of the unnecessary spending that is getting cut. All right, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and you stay girly with the dark twist.